Hi, I'm Stan Lee. You know, Wills Potasio has been working at Marvel for, what is it, eight years now, <laughs> and this is the first time I've met you? I mean, that's ridiculous. I've, I've actually seen a picture of you, so I feel we're close, uh, you know. You've seen a picture <laughs> of me and you still stayed at the job, did you? Well, that's incredible. Like several of the other artists that I've showcased in this series of must-have comics, Will Spertasio goes back to my childhood. I remember being captivated by his artwork as a teen, and I had to include him in this series for that very reason. With that said, let's get to the books. Reggie here, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. Will Spertasio is an incredibly talented artist that goes right back to my childhood. As I mentioned, I remember being captivated by his artwork, and while I feel like I don't see much of his work these days, I still wanted to showcase his art from back in the day, and I definitely want to encourage you to sound off in the comment section if you have some favorite Wills comics that are not going to be shown in this video. The very first book that I want to show you is, again, one that goes back to my childhood. I think I've owned this copy since I was a teenager. This is Wet Works issue number one, and this book was supposed to be on the original slate of books related least from Image Comics back in the day, but because of some tragic things that happened in Wills's life, this series was actually pushed back a couple of years later, but it is out and uh, I feel a little nostalgic. I feel like I should go read this now. It's actually in a and a clear uh, backing board and and uh, poly bag, so I, it just it's it's calling to me. So I may have to check this one out, but definitely a really cool book by Wills. Uh, next up is a is a book that honestly I don't know that I knew that he did, but I believe he did the cover and also the interior pages of this one. It's just a classic cover to me. That's what I think of when I see it. I didn't know it was Wills. This is Punisher. Issue number 10. And as I look at this book, uh, I've never read this book. I've actually never read this one. I am going to have to spend a little time maybe catching up on uh, some of the stuff that he's worked on because I have never read this story before. So th that might change here momentarily. A book that I have read and I have had in the collection for a little while now is this one right here. This is, despite what that tab may say up there, this is actually the third appearance of Gambit. Uh, and I do believe the interior pages were done by Jim Lee, I think, and also by Wills. But I do know that the cover was actually done by Wills. And again, a cool cover featuring uh, one of the more popular X-Men characters, especially if you were a fan back in the 90s. A little little Gambit action there. Not He's not looking too good. Gambit's, it's not looking too good for Gambit right there, but definitely a really, really cool book. This is a book uh, that I, I like, but it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. The favorite cover from this title that Wills actually did, I could not find. I don't even know if I own it, but I might need to seek it out because it's just a really cool cover. And I looked high and low for this book in the collection. Uh, it was a no-go. With all of that said, the book that I was able to find that I think is still a cool cover is X Factor issue number 68. I was actually a pretty big X Factor fan back in the day and technically a mutant fan, which meant that I read everything that had X in the title and X Factor was one of those books. I actually had several of these signed back in the day, but this is issue number 68 and again, a, a cool cover there featuring Cyclops. This next book, again, is, is a book that goes back to my childhood. I have several copies of this book in the collection. I think I have one that is actually signed by Wills that someone gave me as an A-OK. -okay. I was not able to find that book because it was in a separate place, but I did manage to find several copies in the right place of X-Men issue number 281. And this one, again, goes right back to my childhood. This may be one of the original copies right there, but just a really cool copy featuring the two ladies from the X-Men and some Cyclops action down there. I I just love this cover. I really do love this cover. This is one of those X-Men covers, comics that I read repeatedly back in the day. So this image is just printed in my mind. And um, 
it's not a bad one. Not a bad one to have imprinted in one's mind. So I have two more books that I'm going to show you that Will's did probably some of my uh, my some of my favorites here. Uh, this is Uncanny X Men number 282. This is the first appearance of of Bishop. And Bishop was just a, a favorite character back in the day, partly because of the animated series. So this book, again, has some nostalgic feeling for me. It came back at a 9.8. I actually sent this one in raw, came back graded. So I'm pre pretty pleased about that. Also sent in this one right here. This is Uncanny X-Men issue number 283. And this is the first full appearance of, Gan of Bishop. <laughs> Bishop, sorry about that. Uh, and for whatever reason, I do believe... 282 is going for more money than 283, but it, it is what it is. Both of them are really cool covers. This one happens to feature Storm, who again, back in the day, this version of Storm was my version of Storm. Absolutely loved her. So there you have it. Those are just a couple of the Will Spertasio books that I had in my collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I definitely want to encourage you to sound off in the comment section if you have some covers that I did not include in this video. I know that Will's did a lot of books for Spawn, a lot of covers for Spawn. He had a nice little run there. There are some pretty cool ones that he worked on. These just happen to be some of my favorites. But sound off in the comment section. Let me know what I missed. If you enjoyed this video, I definitely want to encourage you to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, please do that now. Go ahead and turn on notifications as well. And that way you won't miss any of the content that I release. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care.